Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to play Empires of the Undergrowth. So, it's important to stress that the game is still under development, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. And with that being said, I really hope they do something about the food degradation. That's, this is one update that I didn't actually like. Um, I'm not going to... I don't want to <clears throat> fault the developers for trying to do something interesting with the free play, but... I'm finding that the food depreciation actually hampers what I like to stream and what I like to show off. Like, I enjoyed putting this on start difficulty, like medium, and then scale with colony so that uh, I can show you all sorts of uber creatures and some large battles. But I can't seem to do that anymore because the more difficult I make the game, uh, you know, the, the, well, it's just the less food I get so I don't survive as long. So in order for me to get these huge honking battles for you, uh, I'm not going to be surviving very long because I'll be running out of food. So I'm thinking what I'm going to have to do is start easy, ramp it up with ramp with spikes or just ramp, and then store a bunch of food so that I'll have the food available uh, for those large battles. I, that's, that's my goal anyway. I really hope that in a future patch they turn off the... I hope, I hope they turn off that food depreciation or give us the option to turn it off because I personally don't like that. I'd rather let my computer be the determining factor, uh, all that lag. I'd, I'd rather the lag be the determining factor as to whether or not I'm done playing or not. Not, I don't want a cap that's predetermined for me, if, that's, if that makes any sense. But anyway, we're going to jump into this. Um, uh, Uber creatures, yes. No attack waves, no fog of war so we can see things on the surface. So we're, we're going to take it easier this time and see if that, uh, you know, if we can actually get into something a bit more fun. All right, so here we go. Now the game doesn't want to load for me. It's mad at me. Okay, there we go. All right. It doesn't like the nasty things I said about free play. And for the record, I love what the developers have done for this game. I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. It's just that one update, that food depreciation update. I don't like it. But everything else about this game is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This is the same ant that I've always wanted. But never had before until now. All right, so we cleared that out. We're going to want to clear it. Yeah, we want some food down this way as well. So we're going to do and do that. Oh, I think we need all that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of food from these right away. Yeah, see, they, they take forever to kill these things. So maybe I should tell them not to do battle. We'll get this food down here. Spawn some more workers. Maybe we'll hold off on opening this up until we've got maybe four or five soldiers and spitters. I, I don't like the mortars personally, but that's just me. All right, so now we should... There's some food. There we go. I'm going to assign them to group one. Bring them down here. Get this food. Oh, look at this guy. He's just like, hey, look at me. I love the detail on this. I wonder if... I don't think these ticks actually attack the queen. Oh, look, it's, it's coming to say hi. The ants must protect the queen. What? The queen is under attack by this? Okay, well... I've never seen this before. Okay, she's not under attack. I just think it's because... Well, I think it's just because we've got an, an, a non-ant resident near our queen. I think the game is freaking out like, Hey, protect the queen. All right, so what we need to do the is... The must protect the queen. Yes, they're freaking out. All right, let's bring them back here. I've never seen that comes so close before. That That is crazy. 
Alright, well, it'll die pretty quickly here with seven ants on it. The ants must protect the queen. That was a very aggressive tick or whatever that was. That's for sure. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and assign um, these guys to group one. We need more food. Yeah, come get this. Just a little bit of food left. Well, pick it up. There you go. Come on. What are you waiting for? Oh, okay. Food stores are full. That would explain it. All right. How about now? There you go. I love the detail in this, too. Okay, so that's all the food that we're getting from that. Let me go ahead and bring the workers back to the unassigned group. Oh, we've got another friend! They want to come say hi. Alright, let's get group one. We've got a lot of uh, spitters coming here, so... We'll go ahead and take advantage of that. They'll make short work of these things. Okay, I think we're good to go there. Uh, let's see what other kind of food is in. Okay, so that's too well protected, I think. We can probably get to this one, no problem. I'm thinking five of these ants should be plenty. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Even the workers, if we group up enough. Alright, let's get the workers over here to take care of this. I don't want this disappearing on me. So the workers can take care of this food. The spitters can take care of this food. Alright, food stores are full. Looks like we got everything here. I'm going to go ahead and reassign these to unassigned. They can do their regular ant things. Um, so we need more food. Okay, there's a little bit down here. We can just quickly dig this out. This colony must remain small for now. 
food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Alright, I don't think group one needs to hang out there anymore. Let's get them down here. Yep. Bring whatever little food is here back. And it looks like there's a little bit of food here. Go ahead and dig that out. And... Alright, not a whole lot of options left, to tell you the truth. I mean, there's three of those. We might be able to take care of that with what we've got. I'd like to start making the soldier ants, like the melee ants, just so that we can get some tanks on the field. Alright, yeah, out of food. Alright, let's get them up here. We'll dig to the right. Durants can be our tanks for the time being. Oh, what are you guys doing? Come back. There, okay, yep. Yeah. The ants must fight. Alright, back off, back off. There you go. Nice, okay. And we've got some food here we can take. But like I said, we're very limited. It's not a whole lot we can do from here. So we're going to have to create. All right, let's do this. Let's dig this out. All right, so we've got 10 ants. Eight of them are spitters, and two are regular melee ants. That should be okay to get to the surface and do our thing. Again, it would be nice to have more food down here, but I'm just not seeing it. Okay, so with the surface revealed, we've got uh, a number of things on the surface. we got some... Whoa! We have a... Tiger beetle already that's dead? I wonder what killed it. Oh, we've got this guy over here. These things would make some, you know, for some nice food. Oh, and there's... Okay, well, that thing could be a problem. Well, difficulty is only at 9% uh, right now because it's on the easiest setting. But we do have it set to ramp. Oh, this thing's almost dead. I wonder if that's what the tiger beetles were fighting with. It's possible. We could start off with some pretty decent food here. Alright, that's good. Um, yeah, you guys keep suggesting that I need to put food near the entrance, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to maybe dig this out. Make this like a little, little food area. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Go. That should start us off anyway. 160. Okay. Get back to the surface, see what's going on. Um, let's try and get this renewable food, but we need to come at this as a group. Because this thing isn't a slouch. It'll it'll mess us up if we let it. Oh, while it's busy. Oh, there's a couple over here. That's not good. Awesome. Okay. Ooh. Someone got too close. 
All right, I see that we're bringing food back so we can safely add more food tiles here. We're gonna want some more workers too. I don't think seven is enough, honestly. Um, let's do this. Let's add a little area here for that. If we run out of workers, then we're in trouble. So we need to keep our infrastructure going. Here we go. Now these nine workers that I just created, we can have them go to the surface with group one and get food. Okay. The more food we can bring back, more quickly the better. Oh. Hang in there. Oh, one down. Now here comes our newly spawned worker ants. They'll come and take some of this food for us. Okay, so we're up to about 10 of these uh, black soldier ants uh, that are melee, 8 of these spitters. I like to add more of these spitters because those, those things rock. I love them. They, they can't take a whole lot of damage, but they can really pump out the damage if, if protected. Alright, so night is falling. That means we'll probably see some really nasty spiders popping out of here. Let's grab this food while we're doing nothing. We're just waiting for this to to spawn more food. Got some over here. There's some of that up there. Okay. Um... I'm a little concerned about leaving the ants on the surface at night because things get pretty nasty at night. What with spiders popping out. Alright, let's as a group we'll take these guys down. Again, the workers aren't gonna do very much. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and get more of these. Okay, I think we're safe to assign these 10 workers back to the nest. They can do more things around here. Pull their weight a bit. Let's go ahead and dig that out. Oh, we're killing ladybugs now. Okay, I'll teach them. Okay, let's keep growing. 
we'll do that one. Dig this out. These ladybugs are persistent. We're getting a small amount of food from them, so I don't mind. The Ladybug Slaughter of 2018. Never forget. What's LLM? Ladybug Lives Matter. They do. We need a hashtag in there, otherwise it's not official. tiger beetles. I don't think we're ready for that yet. I mean, maybe we are, but I don't want to mess with that right now. Alright, so on the surface, what do we got going on here? We've got a bunch of creepy crawlies. I'm looking for spiders. I haven't seen... Oh, there's, there's that. There's a dead fish. The ants must protect the queen. Oh, oh, there's the spiders. Alright, let's get underground. It's 110 food. Not too shabby. I'll take it. I would like to create another group for just, the, you know, protecting the queen. Sort of like a royal guard. So, um, looking around for that. These are fine as is. Alright. Maybe we'll make one down this way. That's much better now. Dance must fight. Oh, got another intruder. Yeah, we're fine. We're all fine. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. All right, so these are going to go into group five, and we'll assign group five as the. The protector of the queen there. Oh, we've got s some more incoming. We'll be fine. That death row is probably the worst. I mean, I mean that in the nicest way. I mean, like, it's just... It, it, it just... <laughs> It makes me feel the saddest out of out of everything I kill in this game. I feel the worst killing those things. Oh, these two are dead. How did that the ants happen? Must protect the queen. It must be spiders or something. Oh yeah, little spiders. We're, we'll be fine. They're not too bad. And mass though, they're pretty nasty.
Okay, let's go get more food with group one. Group group five should be fine to protect the queen. There's nine of them. Plus whatever workers are happen to be around at the time. Was that a dead spider? It is. Oh, another unwelcome visitor. The ants will fight to the death. All right, let's create some soldier ants for group five. good I'd like a reserve of food uh, just so we in case there's any major battles I want to be able to draw upon tons of reinforcements if, if we could so I think we need to start upgrading these food tiles okay There we go. Five thirty five yeah, six fifty. That'll be good for a while, I think. And just to expedite or expedite this oh, expedite, yeah. There we go. I can talk. I'm gonna add some fast movement tiles here. main branch okay that should help a little bit 75 food though that's not a whole lot we need to start stockpiling more I think ladybugs at this point is our primary source of food. Um, you know what? Let's let's have group five quickly come out here and grab this food. Then they can go back to protecting the queen. While one large group is nice, having multiple groups handy to do different things is also convenient. Difficulty is at 22%. I think that's good. All right, let's create another group for maybe like group two so that we can go out and do other things. Um, how are we gonna do that? We can maybe branch it off this or maybe create this back here. We can always expand on this. Oh, okay, there's something over there that we didn't see. Um, well, let's do this, let's have group Five come here momentarily. And we'll dig this out. Get some more food from here. And let's go ahead and upgrade whatever food tiles are left because our food is looking pretty full. 650. The 
workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Okay, now we're up to 2,000? Yeah, roughly. I think that's good. 2,500. I'll be very happy if we get that. Alright, so we must have killed these things already. Let's get this food. And then go back to the queen. And there was one other thing in here too, wasn't there? There was... Down here there's that. Okay. Let's dig that out. Still nighttime. Alright. Well, there's a renewable food source up here, but it's pretty far away. In my experience, trying to get ants all the way across the map to do something is probably a little difficult. Oh, alright, so we've released this. Yeah, we're fine. The Royal Guard did its job and then some... Okay, so again, we need, a, like, another group. I'm thinking we can branch off like this. All right, that's all the food there. All right, start with these. Well, that's nice that we had all that food, because now we've got another group of 20 ants ready to go. And what we can do is go ahead and dig. No. I'll dig this out. And I'd like... Let's do this. I like having a combined group of melee and spitters. Spitters so that they can do the damage, melee so they can tank. So maybe we'll put that here. Although food is looking pretty low. Oh! Tiger beetle. I think you can handle it though. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so it looks like our, our colony is well enough now to handle larger groups. Especially tiger beetles, so that, that's a good thing. We've got about 70 soldiers and 17 workers. I'd like to try and up this, the worker count a little bit. In case things go horribly wrong underneath. Alright, tiger beetles are just uh, very interested in my colony now, I gotta say. Yeah, get four or five or six of these spitters on it. I love these things. I love these things. Man, they just keep coming, don't they? This is only day two. Almost dead. Kill it. There you go. Alright. So again, that's a lot of food coming in. So we'll go ahead and start making this now. And group two, we're going to sign outside as well. Because it's not doing anything. We'll just have it... You know, we'll put it along the same path. I mean, there might be stuff down here. But ants will stop and collect food along the way. Before they get to their destination. So they can help with that. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, we're like we're bleeding this renewable source dry. We need something fresh, something that hasn't been touched yet. Ah, oh, there's a bunch over here. You know what? Let's go for that. Let's have group one just head over here. Actually, we'll, we'll send group two over as well. I don't see any spider nests along the way, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And then we'll let this regrow a little bit. We may want to sign a small group of ants down here to stop them from doing this. So maybe group five can handle that task for right now. We'll just keep them down here. Keep the ladybugs away from this renewable source. While groups one and two come over here and take all of this. Yeah, take that ladybug. Alright, this worries me a smidge. I'm surprised this this thing hasn't isn't having a field day with these ants. Um, oh, it looks like it's dead. No, I don't think these are my ants. Oh yeah, they're coming from here. These are like neutral ants going after this food. Although, now he's encroaching on our little territory. Oh, oh my goodness. They mean business. Oh my, okay, I don't think our royal guard is... Eh, maybe. It's almost dead, so I think our newly spawned ants will be able to take care of it. We're using a bit of food for all these replacements, but that's like, that's what I said. Having a large food store like this, that's not going to be an issue. But when the difficulty ramps up and food, we get less food from these things, then it's going to be harder. A lot harder. Bzz. Looks like we got everything from over here, too. Oh, look at all this food here. I wonder if we can just ninja that real quick. Take that, spider. Yeah, all that, all those black little pellet-like things around here, that's food. I'll take it. Might as well go for the fish. There's only 225 food left, but we'll take it. Oh my, look at this. We've got a group of these tiger beetles, but something's been killing them. You know what? Maybe the fish isn't a good idea. We'll stick to this. Our poor spitter just got taken. All right, we're back up to 2,000 food again. That's good. That's good. All right, I'm going to add to group two. There we go. And we want to continue this trend. There we go. Group 5 will be nice and full, too. I'd like to add some more workers at this point. Because the more ants that we have, the more maintenance that is required in combat to replenish them. It takes time for the workers to pick up the larvae from here, bring it over here, lay the, lay the larvae down, let it grow. So having more workers, I think, would be ideal.
Oh, look at this. Something just spawned over here. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, those things will pop up from time to time. This thing's still here, luckily. It's nice and close. All right, difficulty is up to 32%. So slowly but surely, we're getting up there. And it looks like we actually exhausted some of this renewable stuff because there was some more here. Those little black spiders creep me out. Just because they're so fast. There we go, yeah, get the workers up and going. All right, so at the moment we've got about 34 ants in group one, about 40 ants in group two, so we've got 45 here, so we're about 100 plus strong right now. That's good. I wouldn't mind a group three, if we can swing that. Uh, maybe we can expand on this a little bit more. Yeah, let's do this. Let's um, dig this out. We might be able to make something small up here. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. This isn't going to be a very big one. We've got about 18. We'll put that in group 3. Group 3, what would I do with it? Group 3 can, I mean, there's stuff spawning over here sometimes, so maybe we'll have them check that out. Oh, our renewable food source over here is gone, so we need to give them something else to do. All right, actually, let's do that. You know, this 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 actually doesn't look too bad. If we can rock this place, we'll have yeah, let, let's we need to combine up and, and take care of this. This is gonna be a nice little food area here. But we have to play this carefully. One at a time if possible. Yeah, like that. Now now we could probably easily take the other two. Oh, that works too. Perfect. Alright, let's get up there, take stuff. Yeah, if you're smart about pulling groups, just like you would in like an RPG or MMORPG, it, it's they're not too bad, but it's a little you gotta you gotta finesse it a little bit. Yeah, they keep spawning from here. Might as well just take stuff. All right, group three is over here, just beating up on these poor little ticks or lice or whatever they are. Camping these spawn points, not a bad idea. I'd like to have a couple of spitters in group three, though, which I don't have. So maybe what we'll do is we'll create... Oh, this little area over here would be nice. So that gives us um, about 22 spitter ants over here. Great. All right, so we're camping that spawn point. 
We're camping that spawn point. Uh, it looks like they're actually spawning over here, those tiger beetles. As soon as they pop up, they're getting s just spit on. Group 1 and 2 is still going to have a little bit of an issue here. Because we don't go as a group, random mans will be picked off by interlopers, but we've got enough food to where we can replace them fairly easily. Alright, I'm going to reassign group 2 to this. That's a lot of food. I think part of the challenge in the harder difficulty levels is going to be, again, you're not going to get a whole lot of food from insects, but I guess the, the trick is going to be trying to secure these renewable food sources. I don't know if the renewable food sources also diminish in the sense that, you know, the harder the game gets, the less food it gives you. I don't think that's the case. And if it's not, then it, these become extremely important later on in the game. All right, we're up to 2,000 food again. That's good. All right, let's uh, fill these out a bit, shall we? There's only 10 in group one. All right, yeah, let's do this. We're up to 93% soldier population, so pretty soon, pretty soon there's going to be an issue with that. Go ahead and fill these out. Yeah, right now they cost 60 food. Pretty soon, though. 65, yeah, so it's going up. I did not disable the food or the uh, the ant maintenance cost, the upkeep cost, so it's going to get more and more expensive as we go. Workers, on the other hand, we can spawn more of them without a problem. Let's go ahead and do that. To 90% now. Just to finish that off. Maybe in this corner here. Ninety-three. Ninety-seven. Hundred. Okay. We're good. All right, so we've maxed out both. We can add more, but it's going to be more expensive to do so. We've got 100 worker ants. I think that's I think that's more than I've ever had before. Let's just say that. All right, let's check up on the surface. Oh, we've got night is falling. So what I'd like to do is have group 5 retreat back to the nest, protect the queen. Uh, group 3 can watch the door. Uh, group 1 and 2 can still venture out and do things, but... I want to make sure that we've got enough protection back home. Because spiders will, will show up. These ladybugs don't have a chance.
Ooh, there's a renewable food source here, but again, there's this nasty nest here. Got to watch for that. All right, maybe we can take this food if we, as a group. Yeah, come on. Nice. One down, two down. Oh, two down. All right, here we come. Let's grab this food real quick. Difficulty is 41%. I believe when it gets to 100, that's when it'll start. Uh, I think after 100%, I think that's when the food depreciation comes into play. More tiger beetles. All right, food stores are getting full. Uh, like I said, I want to create a huge, 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 huge food store uh, in preparation for the harder difficulty part. So I'm going to dig this out. have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. There we go. 3,500. We're up to 4,000. 5,000. Yeah, keep the food coming. Keep the food coming. So far, the nest invasions have been relatively light. I suspect that's because I started off on the leftmost slider to start. Alright, group two. Looks like they physically slow down, too, on these webs. Which is somewhat realistic. Normally, they would just be stuck. Spider webs can be pretty sticky. Alright, there's a lot of food accumulating here. But I don't want to give this up, either. If the nest invasions are going to be light like this, I think we can afford to send Group 3 out to take this food over here and do that. Group five is still protecting the nest. Although we may want to have, um, we might want to expand their numbers a bit. So I might want to do something like this. Make group five uber powerful. Again, they're getting more expensive to place. 418 food to place. That's ridiculous. That's a lot. Just saying. So I don't foresee us being able to put anything else down. I mean, the next step might simply be to upgrade. Now, I don't know if upgrading is going to be as expensive as placing. Like, I don't know if upkeep can, is factored into upgrading. We'll find out. It doesn't look like it. Upgrading one is only like 50 or 60. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to upgrade from here on out. Alright, 
Got 900 food. Let's keep some in reserve for emergencies here. Alright, group three wiped that out pretty quickly. So it doesn't look like there's going to be a group four. Not with, uh, not with the upkeep enabled. I think three groups is sufficient. And then one to protect the queen. Let's send group three up here. Because they're sort of, they sort of emptied this out. Oh, group two is still taking losses from this. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, this down here is sort of like a liability. Well, it looks like group three did happen to pull the tiger beetles, and as a result, we did win. Forty-six percent difficulty. Okay, we're getting up there. Yeah, this thing's a pain. We'd have to camp this with one group while the other group comes in and does their thing. Like we could assign these workers to group, say four, have them ignore combat, come over here, pick stuff up, and bring it back while the group three protects it. So if we did that, group three can hang out here. I think we got everything from up here, didn't we? Oh, no. Tiger beetles are spawning regularly over here. 62 food. Okay, yeah, so it looks like that food depreciate... 88% yeah, difficulty now. Yeah, that food depreciation is settling in. We're starting to see that. So we need to, we need to keep the food stored at this point. Alright, and we'll sign the 99 workers to group 4. Have them come over here. Get food. We're going to tell them to ignore combat, though. Oh, that is a lot of worker ants. But with us camping this... Group two and the workers can take whatever they want from here. No problem. Assuming there's anything to take. Doesn't look like there is. Alright, how's group one doing? Oh, okay, so that's actually empty. Let's assign group one to that. And we'll look around for some more renewable sources. Nothing over here anyway. Oh! Kill it! All right, let's go ahead and, yeah, group, those, those workers can go back underground. There, there's nothing here else to take. Group two's on top of it. We'll be fine. I'd rather have these guys underground anyway. We'll only bring them out in emergencies in case we did a mass food rush. But at the moment, we don't, we don't have that problem. Difficulty went down to 48%. I wonder why that changed. 
Wasn't it like 70 or 80 percent earlier? It's weird. I wonder if difficulty is calculated based on the amount of nasty creatures on the surface. Does it take, oh, there's eight spiders, so it's three difficulty percentages per, or three value per, per spider? I don't know. I don't think so. Unless that was just a bug. But yeah, it's now it's 50% again. Really strange. All right, now this is going to get, oof. Oh, it's coming for me. Alright, we're going to get more food. Upgrade what we can. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Seventy five hundred food. Ten thousand max food. I think that's good. I think that's good. Poor group fiver hasn't seen the sun in days. Looks like daylight is approaching. That's a good sign. That's still there. That's still there. This is some nice food down here. Um, I think what we're going to do, let's go ahead and reassign group two. Yeah, we'll reassign group two down here. Take all this free stuff. Right now they're, they're collecting this, but there's nothing left. We'll assign group three to stop camping this poor spider's nest. Grab what it can, head back. That thing's nasty. it is. You can barely see it under there. Oh, it's good. Yep, there it goes. So again, as a group, we're going to have to take this thing out. Otherwise, it's going to ninja all of our ants like this. Oof. Yeah, one at a time. That's just, that's the worst. Ah, oh, we got it. Oh, another one. Lovely. Fifty-three percent again. Yeah, again, the difficulty is all over the place. 
Again, the game is in early access, so maybe it's it's either bugged or it's programmed to do that. I just don't know which. All right, group two, nothing doing here. All right, so let's find something else for you to do. Uh, nothing here. Nothing there. All right, they can help out. Yeah, I'll just grab this real quick. I do want to send it down here to help group three. Because again, this 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 spiders thing is nasty. All group three wants to do is get food, and this thing just keeps popping up. Lots of excitement over here. There's uh, some food. Oh, there's a renewable food source over here. This middle, though, is looking pretty, pretty feisty. Look at all this stuff. Oh, whoop, spiders are starting to... Yeah, that thing's dead. Maybe we should try and make a collective push toward that. Group 1 isn't doing much, except gather this food here. So wait, they spawned all the way across the map just to get to me? I'm honored. Kind of, sort of. We're up to 10,000 food or so. That's what I was looking for. Uh, group 1 can quickly change course here and grab this. There we go. Nothing else nearby. I wonder if that's what the spikes are. I have it on ramp with spikes. I wonder if it's supposed to go from like, say, it goes steady 30, 40, 50, 60, and then it goes to 80 again. And then it goes back down to say 60. Like it, there's spikes. Maybe that's it. Maybe the spikes are temporary. And then when it's over, the spike is over, it'll go back to its regular default difficulty. Maybe that's it. Going toward the center here would seem like suicide, just to get to this flower. Oh, we've got incoming tiger beetles. Oh, that's a big one. All right, food stores are full. We're going to have to go back underground and do something about that. Can't believe our food stores are full. Not that I'm complaining.
workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Okay, so we're up to 12,500. What we could do is we could also dig this area out here and make that food as well. Um, let's go ahead and do that. All this unused space, might as well. We'll have enough food for the zombie apocalypse, and then some. All this food. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's... They're saving. It's like the old country buffet at this point. I mean, they're. Wow. It's a lot of stuff. Alright, we're up to 16,000 max food. Let's see. Okay, so this is gone. It's still here, that's still there. Okay, group one can do something else at this point. Let's see if anything else has spawned nearby that we can make use of. Oh, over here. Perfect. Group one can handle that. Fifty nine per cent. Wow, that's a lot of lice, or whatever that is. They need to be exterminated, I'm sorry. That's just, that's disgusting. I'm gonna reassign group one down here real quick. They've gotta go. Who'd have thought we'd be calling ants to exterminate other bugs? But whatever. It's food. And it's less nastiness. This, this poor spider's nest. We've been camping it for, what, 20 minutes to a half an hour now? We've killed like 18 family lions at this point.
This thing's gonna die. Yeah. It made a huge mistake walking over here. Fourteen thousand food. Again, I sincerely hope that we can put that to good use. All right, difficulty is up to 62%. So what I'm going to do is put a cut in the stream here. We'll pick it back up another time. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.